Folks, Honda has finally dropped the curtains on the much-anticipated Prelude Coupe concept. The rumor mill had been working overtime ever since Honda trademarked the Prelude name a few months back. We knew something was cooking at Honda. But now, there's no more room for guesswork. The Prelude prototype made a grand entrance at the Japan Mobility Show, formerly the Tokyo Auto Show an event that was quite a milestone for Honda as it marked its 75th anniversary. Toshihiro Mibe, the president and director at Honda, took the stage and not only unveiled the Prelude concept, but also dropped some tantalizing details about it. Toshihiro Mibe pulled out all the stops at the Japan Mobility Show. Not only did he lift the curtain on the Prelude concept, but also laid down the cards on several other thrilling projects for their 75th anniversary celebration. Among these, there's a driverless ride-hailing venture with GM and Cruise. This features the Cruise Origin, a nifty vehicle that can double up as a meeting room. It's your personal office on wheels, or even a cozy family hangout, and it's all without the hassle of handling the steering wheel. Then, there's the Sustainia C concept, a car crafted from recycled acrylic resin. A smart move, a smart move to tackle looming resource shortages. Last but not least, there's a Honda Avatar robot ready to take on tasks and give you a virtual front row seat to experiences from afar. These are just a few of the cards up Honda's sleeve. Quite the deck, right? Towards the end of his presentation, Mibe mentioned how the brand's customers always had expectations of sports models. It's at this point that he dropped the bombshell on the Prelude concept. The Prelude has always introduced Honda's latest sporty innovations. And now, folks, this concept will be a preview of Honda's electrified future while embodying its unchanging sports DNA. Honda promises this specialty sports coupe will provide an exhilarating, never-before-felt driving experience that leaves you begging for more. That seems a tall order for a front-engine, front-wheel drive nameplate that held a special place in the hearts of young gearheads in the 80s and 90s. But is it? The Prelude was a favorite for tuner culture until production ended in the early 2000s. This new concept aims to reclaim that sports car magic for the electric era. Will Honda succeed? Well, it's a wait and see if it can walk the walk or if it's all just smoke and mirrors when they finally unveil the production model. For now, the potential excites. The new Prelude won't be packing that classic rev-hungry Honda four-cylinder engine we all remember. Nope, it's going electric. Brace yourselves as this change is bound to raise a few eyebrows among the die-hard Prelude fans. But Honda is banking on the Prelude nameplate to stir up the pot and maybe even attract some crossover buyers who were once part of the Prelude's glory days. It's a bold move, and the jury's still out on how it'll play out. Whatever the case, the new Prelude seems more intended for the new buyers than purists. Ladies and gentlemen, let's get down to the nuts and bolts of the new Prelude concept. A fresh breeze compared to the classic 90s style of the 5th Gen Prelude. It seems Honda has taken a page from the 10th Gen Civic Coupe's playbook. Check out that snazzy triangular rear side glass, the sleek and slanting roofline, and those head-turning arches that jazz up the fender openings. Now, picture this. The current Civic sedan, a close cousin to the 10th gen model, could potentially transform into a swanky two-door coupe. And here's the kicker, it doesn't have to go all electric. Mibe hints at electrification, 
which opens the door to some good old-fashioned gas-electric hybrid speculation. With the upcoming hybrid powertrain from the bigger Accord Hybrid in the pipeline, there is some big potential here. As for the Prelude concept's appearance, it's got that sleek and futuristic vibe. The body lines are symmetrical, avoiding the bulky look. It boasts a fastback design with a slender yet noticeable spoiler and Brembo brakes peeking out from under those factory-sized 20-inch wheels. The front end might remind you of the Civic, but there's a twist. It ditches the upper grille and sticks with conventional side mirrors instead of fancy cameras. Now, about the new Honda Prelude concept itself. It's a two-door coupe with a hybrid heart. Unlike its smaller predecessors, this one's gone up a size or two. That classic Prelude vibe is still alive and kicking in its side profile, with petite wing mirrors, sleek door handles, and sharp rocker panels. Plus, the gloss black wheels and those snazzy blue brake calipers give a nod to its performance potential. The roofline? Think of it as a blend between a Porsche 911 and a Hyundai Ioniq. Quite the looker. But where it really steals the show is at the back, where it sports a full-width LED light bar, a sleek black lip spoiler, and a glossy black bumper. Honda has put a modern spin on the 80s and 90s coupe, adding a hint of sophistication. But one thing you can't miss is how it's beefed up compared to its ancestors to reflect the broader trend in the car world where vehicles have grown in size over the years. Under the hood of the Honda Prelude concept is a hybrid electric system, which brings together the muscle of a gasoline engine with the zing of electric power. However, Honda has not yet disclosed specific details of the powertrain, such as the engine size, output, and electric motor specifications. What's clear, though, is that the Prelude concept is all about merging electrification with driving pleasure, setting the stage future Honda excitement. Expect it to pack a bigger punch compared to the existing hybrid models in Honda's lineup. They might even borrow a hybrid setup from their CRV, Accord, or the upcoming Civic Hybrid. Oh, here's another angle. They could cook up a starter generator mild hybrid system to team up with a gasoline engine. That could open the door for a multi-speed transmission in the Prelude, adding some extra oomph. Now, if we take a step back and compare this new kid on the block to the older generations of the Honda Prelude, which were in the game from 1978 to 2001, the difference is like night and day. This new concept is expected to be more nimble and more powerful, thanks to that hybrid electric powertrain. Take the fifth generation Prelude, for instance. It boasted a maximum output of 217 horsepower in Japan and 200 horsepower in the US rocking a 2.2-liter DOHC VTEC four-cylinder engine and rolling on 16-inch alloy wheels. The new Prelude is like a heavyweight champ in the making, flexing some serious muscle. Honda seems to be taking us down memory lane. First, they gifted us the Civic Type R in the US, followed by the triumphant return of the Acura Integra, albeit in a five-door version. And now, the Prelude is making a comeback, which is like the cherry on top for longtime fans. However, the electrified status of the Prelude might not sit well with everyone. Some purists might miss that classic engine purr. So, the million dollar question remains. Are you still up for the Prelude's return, even with these potential changes? And there you have it, folks. The new Honda Prelude concept is making waves in the automotive world. Honda is walking a tightrope, balancing nostalgia with innovation. We're all ears and would love to hear your take on this. Are you revved up about the Prelude's return, or do you have reservations about the electric twist? Don't forget to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, and give the notification bell a friendly tap so you're always in the loop with our latest updates. Thanks for joining us today, and we'll catch you in the next video. Stay tuned and stay passionate about cars.